colors. I'll see. Lenar Elf, come on. Mono black, okay. Yeah, is that any even good against this? To just bring back everything anyways. Big creature, both cards go to graveyard, yeah. It's not like this though. The Vam version. Not sure if that's better or worse for me. Soren sounds kind of scary. Maybe Casualties of War will be good this matchup. If we get there. See, mutate is easy. Sometimes it works like this though, sometimes it doesn't work like this though. The big ones are if you only have one creature in play and you get the card, it comes into play as its regular creature. Like it doesn't fizzle or anything. And you know, if you mutate a creature and it gets killed, you lose. I mean, those are the two basic ones, I guess. Fires and Gaia Reach. Right. Seems good. Question is, do I want to use a sweeper? Do I want to grant and lose my spell to a discard spell? These have the one for an exile, right? I should probably. ECD seems fine. Casualties is tempting. Enter the God Eternals, tempting. Come on, I get Casualties of War. Maybe I want to get that later. Enter the God Eternals by me a lot of time. Yeah, I think it's there's a consensus that the black white cat is like by far right now. You know. Oh, that's good news. No five mana, dude. I'm just gonna verdict. You have two meat evolved certain kind of things. And Claren it works well with Enter the God Eternals, I guess. Did I just play one spell last turn? I uh, probably should have played my Fair of Wishes. Surprised they didn't maybe take Claren or enter the God Eternals. And for the Nip deck, he hard, so that part's a bit rough. Die right away. Um, let's see. I'm in myself. Just gonna keep the two cards for fair of wishes. <sighs> yeah. No surprise there. It's a vamp gift death touch in my Oh I mean easy. Alright, 
Okay, tap that. So I should. Use that. Oh, even better. Let's get casualties of war, right? That's why I didn't want to get it deferred. Creature, land, planes. Casualties of war doing work here because I mean ECD would have probably been enough, but maybe not. Hmm. A clarion and a beacon. All right, all right, I'll let it die. Thanks for the value. Could also draw and scry with omen of the sea. Maybe that's even better. I'll keep a spell. Could get needle. It's kind of underwhelming, but Whatever. It's probably fine. Find a lot with Teferia. A chain of rage. A. I use that one. At and can bounce my fires and cast another fairy. I can. Hmm. I have a verdict, I guess. There he is, Sarkan, yeah. There he is, a random five mana spell that would win me the game anyways. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see if it like, win me games that 
like to fair or something would have not won me. Okay. And that's a tiny bit scary. I could cast Bolas with Urborg, the technology. Hey Odysseus, good morning. Coaster, West Coaster. Still a bit early on the West Coast. Is that scary? East Coast. All right, let's see. Oh, that makes it easy. Might be time for fires. So I can uh, do the... Dread of Kalidas. Plus again, win. Play a lane. For five color nib. Seems good if you're willing to forego our devastation. Stuff, our devastation is one of your most crucial uh, targets for. This card does fit, you know. Definitely strong to have that 5 5, that free spell, and I mean, even cast the Niv, right? Alright, opponent. Damn, I already used eight minutes. Takes a while to finish them. Uh let's see. Also, that part is kind of nice. You get to kill them pretty fast. Real concern on Magic Online was this deck. The lock three times already. I was Gaia, you mean? Or. I think Solar Flare and Hour of Devastation are pretty different. Or is this station just such a unique effect in Pioneer? Oh, Possibility Storm. Yeah, well, I mean, you're right. I'm just, I forgot I could do that. I mean, honestly, if someone's not scooping to that board, I mean, sometimes people think they can still win, I guess. The problem is that I'm not even that slow, like I have the same time as my opener, it's just like... Mentor, black and two, 
When it enters the battlefield, put a lifeline counter on target non-human creature you control. One black tap on each creature you control. Oh yeah, there's a cycle of these, right? Seems kind of gross and limited, but seems like the power level and limit is pretty high. So only cast one spell. Opponent. Oh. I Actually, can't do anything anymore. Is that a zombie? Wait, against Death Touch? Alright. Could have saved my fair wish. Playing pretty loosey goosey here. Opponent correctly playing to their only out, timing the out. I don't know, I feel like everything takes forever with this deck. I feel like it makes Moto maybe laggy. Oh, uh, wasn't there a thing about... Oh, maybe I should go for a counter, actually. Isn't there something about... Um, having casualties of... I don't even feel like anything's laggy though. Doesn't matter now, but I need to start using Gyre in the upkeep. So if I use it in the upkeep, they have zero cards, they draw this card and they don't get to draw. So what's the difference? Oh, they don't even get to cast an instant if I have to ferry. Got it. Yeah, yeah, if I don't have to, of course. It does matter when I don't have to ferry. Hey, dudes, thanks for the raid, bud. What's going on in, in dudes' worlds these days? What you playing? That's a good point. I have to ferry. Played Maverick in a legacy prelim, but sadly it's 11.56 p.m. and I've got to go ahead to bed. All right, good night, bud. How's a bedtime? All right, are any of my cards kind of bad? Not sure. Probably just no changes, right? I did bring it good. I've been living by, I didn't have much to do and I wasn't qualified and stuff. I heard my 13 old nephews just loving life. Just loving the COVID life. Thousands are dying. No school and I get to... The nephews that plays Fortnite, yeah. It's his fault. She got him playing Magic, yeah. I mean, I've tried a bit. He loves opening booster packs. He's always, oof. It's rough. That's like their... I don't know, I think this matchup's gonna be tough, honestly. I'm not sure this is a good matchup. Like, sweepers aren't, like, super effective. It's kind of ironic that Gideon's actually kind of bad against creature decks. Do I even play Gideon? I'm just gonna get ran over, right? I 
guess I have to play just so I don't die, just to gain five, gain five life, yikes. How Sarkin been? It was a good game one, it helped me kill them fast and not get timed out. But I mean, Tefer would have done the same thing, you know, not counting time. Any fight just as good. Better to make an emblem? Nah. This, this gains me four life, potentially. Maybe even five life. I guess it was hard and stuff the math is irrelevant against creature decks. So it didn't even gain life maybe. Kind of depends what their hand is. I mean, it's fine, you know, that's that's their best possible draw. Doesn't necessarily mean too much. They're on the play and they have their close to not draw, you're gonna lose just magic. And Mitra wasn't even good. I mean, like, Teferi and Arset would have been better than Gideon, probably. I'm just dead on board. I mean, even if I'm not, I don't think there's anything that really saves me. Can make a dragon. I'm at two. I don't think there's anything that saves me here. Yeah, you on know, needles, pretty good against them. Maybe I want spell quality. It's bad as fires. I think fire is pretty good in the matchup. I guess I'm on ECD. I don't need to host a lot and the games go long. Well, what would I cut? Maybe I'll just cut the stupid Gideons. I want Anger main. Sweepers are not even that good against them, honestly. Anger will have literally killed zero creatures this game. I just want all the ACDs, just because it's kind of card advantage. I mean, that's why you play the Vam deck, so you go soar and minus into the, the five drop. <clears throat> They're not winning these games. Should probably not be playing the deck. It's good against a 4 4, good against Dust Legion Zealot. Oath of Teferi. 
I mean, I have a gnome and I'm just seeing that's value right there. I think I should keep. Now I'm gonna have enough spells. I should not keep another five mana spell. It's like one of the best five mana spell I feel right now. Unless I get super aggroed. I play Gara's Reach now. Can't play Verdict next turn. Maybe I should just suck it up and play Hollowed Fountain untapped. Not a big fan of. I'm a minus. I mean, if they want to spend. Oh, I definitely want fires. It was don't. It's my turn to have my really good draw. Didn't have a one drop. That's pretty huge. We just won, chat. We just won. Open and just time log them in a tempo matchup. He chose poorly. I will say taking fires is pretty good though. It might almost be worth the lost legacy. Just because fires is was so good was the hand I had. All right, um, I guess I should play Gaia Reach. Just get them once was, uh, should I do it in their upkeep? Does that make a difference? I guess I'll do upkeep. Then if they discard, they get to see one more card. Maybe I should have done it end of turn because I have so many cards in hand anyway. All right, I don't think I need Sacred Foundry, right? I guess I don't need Gaia. They don't play like Feel of Rune, right? Or anything to mess with Gaia Reach. I don't know, I lost the I will admit Fires was, I mean, obviously the rest would have been like probably better, but. All right, so I think our lead was, huh. Lead was ECD maybe? Or lead was us up to fairy. Soren's a bit scary. ECD is like the safer play, pretty high impact, like high ceiling. Flicker on ECD is good, flicker on Omen of the Sea. At 17, I guess I should flake her. Uh... I don't know. I was up to fairy, definitely doesn't feel win more here. It feels like a five mana planeswalker I could have had. Not even close. Feels like, like any other five mana spell in the entire format, honestly, right now. What is the origin of the name Papa Hot? I don't know. Papa Huey, Papa someone, I don't, I don't know. There's, I don't know why people add Papa and sit in front of something. All right, so. Well, I'm probably gonna cast both. God, and the beacon, so good. The fairy, probably just want the fairy to lock. I'm getting back. 
Black card hand. Wait, yeah. I they can sell their mutable. J Jace two twice. Kind of gross. Oh, I guess if I'm getting back in our set next turn, I should use our set again right away. All right, we got the sweeper too. <laughs> yes. I mean, you could have argued I should take the sweeper first because I have four to ferry or three to ferry le left in my deck and less sweepers, but. God, that was tough to ferry was actually so good this game. Ultimatum in case nobody told you. Oh, I haven't been paying attention. Oh, third. Should I take a sorcery spell here? You mean OP Planeswalker? Opponent give, giving it their best shot. Hey, me was your best shot. Dude, it's kind of funny when you have Sarkhan in your deck, it's actually relevant. Like, putting plus one, plus one counters on your Planeswalker. <laughs> That'd be the next level strats. Oh, wow. Why didn't I not do that right away? Shandra Inferno twice a turn. Dude, they all sound such gas, honestly. Kind of have to take Gideon. I don't think anyone's gonna argue that uh, any longer. Dude, it's actually so much fun just using your Planeswalkers twice a turn. Poorly for them if I had fires in play and I get to make a token a turn and use Gaia Reach on their turn with Narset. Opponent only gets to use their Planeswalkers once a turn. What a fail. In. Now we're talking. Big Daddy twice a turn. Get to untap four lands. Pretty unlucky here. Only one beacon in play. Kill Lily was Gideon. Oh, I could have, yeah. Might honestly be worse than this. They're like, got him. Discard spell. Got the verdict. 
the way. One, leave no man behind. Usually I like it when my opponents scoop when they can't possibly win, but I'll say this is pretty fun. Getting to use Planeswalker twice a turn. I could log them out was Possibility Storm probably. That doesn't sound very fun. Bounce that, draw, plus, make two, two, make two, two, play Nahiri, one, plus, plus, Um, hmm, don't need that one, don't need that. Hmm. Spell in their deck. It's gonna be weird the first time. Lose a few time I was Gideon Emblem. Yeah, dude, it's such a travesty. I guess then you would have tournaments that never end. Oh, I should have plus first. Oh well. Opponent? Oh, what you got? Fun. Appreciate it. Uh, I guess that's where they draw the line. To Fairy Emblem is where they draw the line. Seems like a tough matchup though. Yeah, the sweepers are not very effective. They can out tempo you. Like, how do you stabilize? And if you don't like snowball, like, how do you come back from. You have no good ways to protect your planeswalkers. That's like a pretty big problem with this deck. I guess you need fires, you need like... That feels a bit slow. I mean, I guess... I mean, the OG version had... Let's see, I'm playing first... Oh, Harry 13, I think they were playing Inverter. Played against them yesterday. Much better. Just play castle on turn two, right? At probably no cost. Okay, I got five. Any usable propaganda effect that can help this? I doubt it. Wait, there's actual what we're talking about. All right, let's not lose too much time though. Peter, I thought you were talking about like a COVID ultimatum maybe. Hey, you reprinted ultimatums. Ooh, that turned the casting costumes and exiled them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. White. Um, what should I jam into their potential sensor? Probably getting on the trials first. It's 
think Ian Amp's trial is pretty bad against the Zarya's Charm. I hate doing dead to Emblem, but I guess against Blue Light Control, it's probably okay. I think I should have just played Teferi Varus. They did Mulligan to 5, yeah, maybe. I think it's okay to do Zara's Charm. Then I get to resolve to Fairy. Get countered. I'm gonna play Jace first. How did you just sense? Alright, that went well. Get a minus. I'll try to trial and tap out, but. True, I added these cards. Oh man! I'm not even gonna try one of them. Get trim fires. Good luck. Seems like. Yeah, I think to spell card, it sounded good, but I don't think you want to really against anyone. They're pretty good. Ultimatum and Abzam Ultimatum. Did they have, there's a salt time ultimatum the first time around. Was there, there wasn't an, there was never an abs and ultimatum, which there weren't. The good thing about Queller in this matchup is that it's, they're just in such terrible shape. So I've got that going for me, I think. No red. No red. Greed. Greed is real. That was probably pretty awful not to keep both the flans honestly. It made absolutely no sense. I was going to say go one time. Price cast spell color in it. I might just sag the omen, honestly. Yeah, not keeping that land was questionable at the best. Scary. I don't really have anything going. Chat. And I get to six man, I can double spell. Just throw. I guess Nahiri is kind of the worst. Just bait with Nahiri. This is bad because now they just get to go counter, 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 dig, counter, counter, counter. Yeah, I'm not supposed to let them like breathe in the early turns. Just need to jam, jam, jam.
Can we veto? It's not our spell, so... Pretty bad spot here, obviously. Yeah, I missed it early. Hope they don't have a counter spell somehow. Okay. I mean, the fairy's not so great against our sets. Should I get rid of Gideon instead? Go. I don't know, it seemed pretty good yesterday when I played against it. it seemed pretty easy. But they could, they, I guess, they could, they can just like counter, counter, counter. To f I saw that, is it any, like, the deck's not... I guess you get Shambling Vent. The OG Sewer card. Nothing really says Sewer like Shambling Vent. And I got rid of the fires. Interesting. So I get to bring back a Planeswalker. I don't think I can win this game. I guess I should have like maybe two verdicts in my main, one, one in my sideboard. I don't think one is good. I think I might want all the fires even though I have spell queller. Because once you resolve fire, it's harder for them to counter everything. You get to like play two spells a turn. It's harder for them to have like two counter spells every turn and it lets you snow a little more. It does seem good to stick a spell queller in the early. It's a 
Shambling Vent Sword and Tidalus Scholar. That also are like a reasonable magic card. Lifelink is. I don't know. I think it's one of. It's like in bad color combinations. But it's. I think it's one of the best man lands if you don't. If you Not great chat. Not even a temple. Alright, see on blows. At least I need what to get at least I know what to get rid of. And I kind of have a plan-ish, but even Chandra is not the end of the world. They can just like I mean they might even have gusts or something. I think I'm gonna lose. Because they don't have a free man of planeswalkers. Probably a veto too. I mean, almost hundred percent. Got to have a veto or a dispute. Well, this match totally blue. That is absolutely no fun. I feel I feel bad for playing so much blue white. It's pretty miserable to play against. <laughs> kind of like the flash deck, really it just resolves. I guess they're like, they must have something good to deal with it. Do they not have a counter spell? And yeah, none of these lands come into play on tap next turn, crazy. So I guess I should just take the Castle Ventress. We don't have planes. <laughs> I wonder what's going on here. If they just don't care about Jace, or if they legit don't have a counter. Oh right, I should have taken this Cryland. I could have played it right away. I'm dumb. I didn't even think about that. Wow. I don't know, they might honestly have Ether Gusts, an Ether Gust or two after sideboard. Not even sure Chandra is necessarily going to resolve. They could also have the four mana counter spells. I said, okay. Okay. GM. Felt really easy yesterday, but not today, chat. Not today. Hmm. Could play Fear of Wishes. Plugs Gideon becomes a free four. Harry thirteen says Vantress feels less good with no islands. Great common dude. I'm 
glad I'm glad you felt obliged to share that with us. What are the relation in our board? I don't like building my decks like that. This felt pretty bad. Kind of screwed in that third game. Spellcore was pretty bad compared to like disputes or other cards. Imagine seeing something like that in chat after you open and just miss their third land drop, just like Mulligan and miss their third land drop two turns in a row. The lack, the lack of like, and I don't even know. All right, I think we'll spell clunky. It's not what you need the decks. It's already like kind of the decks problem. It's a bit clunky, so. So what does it have in one do? Seven mana, return of permanent to the battlefield. This seems much better than the other ultimatum, than the salt eye one, return to the battlefield. Seems kind of good. I mean, you just play these ram decks with wayfinder and stuff. That card's kind of nutty. All right, deck. Why don't you chill? Give me a break. Okay, what does play an additional land on each of your turns? Whenever you cast this, oh, okay. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. I was like, uh, hello? And then you have your end step, discard your hand. Yeah, that's not gonna be broken or anything. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Especially, you know, flashback spells, escape spells. What could go wrong? Like that and Uro? Dude, that card's gonna be ridiculous. It's like, you know what? People love Wilderness Reclamation so much. People love it when we make busted four mana enchantments. They really do. Let's 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 keep going. Curving real into that. Is that like just obscene amount of card advantage? Oops, I played the wrong land. I land right away. Oh well. Like, I mean, that card would be fine if you didn't get, because like the, the drawback is, okay, you play it on turn four, you lose your hand, but you don't have more lands to play your card you're drawing and you're gonna have to discard them. But it lets you play an extra land. I mean, I guess that's the whole point. That's what makes it probably playable. And boom. Okay. It's been for a live deck, cool. No one's playing rest in peace and stuff. See how badly I get punished for playing my beacon first. 
It's gonna be like all tap lands. I mean, it's just me being a Munson. Munson is gonna Munson. Sorry, didn't I just like giving a hard time to people who. I mean, I didn't think it was like the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. Okay, cool. You're just doubling down. Not you didn't mean to BM. Now you're just doubling down, saying my deck just sucks. Okay, dude. It's right, cool. What? Eight eight flying death touch, and buy counter on it for each different mana cost among non land cards in your graveyard. It's interesting. What am I at? 18? Flying Death Touch. Uh, point of the Sea, I guess? from our deck. Uh -oh. It's the reverse inverter. <laughs> what? Is the arena cube good? It's, it goes fast. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I didn't... It, it was... I guess I had fun. No, it's fun. I don't, I don't know, I'm... I was just playing it in between rounds. The, the games didn't feel... Snowball's pretty fast. I'd say it was fun, but maybe not the most... Shandra lets you cast a third spell when you have fires in play. Maybe that's why people like Shandra on this deck. Oh, I could have Oath. Oh yeah, I missed, uh, missed uh, dude, Oath, dude, get smart, you missed it. Oath, we played a game against Mono Black Vamps. I'm pretty sure Oath of the Fairy was by far the best five mana card I could have had in my deck, even if I could choose to cast any cards in the format. Am I just dead? I think I might just be dead. I don't remember what Gate does exactly. I've been watching. I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd challenge anyone at spots. I'm willing, I'm... I mean, I feel like it, it has to be like close to at least even money that there's no card in the format that would have been better in that specific spot. I'd be shocked. Current Temple Sundering? What? It wouldn't have been close. I only have okay. I'm not. I'm not interested in trolls. Not right now. Mm, all right. So plus. So we want to play one spell first. I just play my theory. I'm too serious with chat. No, I mean... 
So I've played the one spell. I might have to just uh, blank Elspeth's Conqueror's Dev, though. Just to get rid of God Pharaoh's Gift. What if I get rid of Fires? Hmm. No, I'm just going to get rid of ECD, I guess. So I have to get rid of ECD. I've played my two spells. I had to do that. No. I guess I'll just do plus again. Fae for rip sounds like you have a fae. And that, it's really cool. I mean, you can fall behind and it's really hard to come back, whether it's against aggro or control, but or any deck, really. That's like the deck's biggest problem. It's, I mean, Oath of Teferi is actually like one of the, I feel like it's like one of the only cards in the deck that lets you come back from really shitty spots. Take big. Oh, yeah, I can sorry, I can't make a dragon, and I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of options. Friendship ended with Niv. Five for a friend, pretty much. Pretty good up. I don't know. I'm trading though. I'm trading the Niv. Let's get the garage going. Just get that for the lock. I just kill them. Played Sarkan. What's the lock? If you have wishes, you can get Possibility Storm. I said I don't think you're playing enough Walkers. Cast two spells, right? Yeah. All right, needle seems fine. Rest in peace. Authority of the console, kind of okay, I guess. Don't want the dispute, ECD. Kidian doesn't seem like what I want to be doing. It seems kind of I'm bringing in the random cheap cards. Like the sweepers do anything? They spoiled a new Jeskai Narset? What? Let's see that too. So it's all right. Pithing needle, sure. I'm not sure authority is that good, but all right. I guess I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. Four mana for four loyalty. Just guy plus one. You gain two life. Add blue, red, or white. Spend this cast like path to exile. Bolt. Not bad. You play it, it, it kind of protects itself in some ways. It goes up to five. 
Okay, we're all sorry. Card, then you may discard a card. Draw a card, then you may discard a card. When you discard an online card this way, Narset deals damage equal to that card's converted mana. Goodness, you'll loot and you just get to shoot something, but it goes down to two. So it kind of protects itself, but I don't know, going down to two loyalty. <coughs> you get an emblem was minus six. You get an emblem was whenever you cast a non creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. I don't know, it seems cool and balanced. Doesn't seem like obscene or anything. Uh, I guess I'll cast it to try and protect my Narsets. You can use the minus two just to draw your eye. That's really bad though. <laughs> Might be good in standard. I don't know if it's gonna be good enough like. Don't think I would play that in this deck, would I? She ults really fast. The ult is good but not totally game wearing. But yeah, she does ult pretty fast, I guess. Freelance to the bottom. That's the cycle. Part of the cycle. Alright, all of you just revealed free to a free companion. Each creature card in your starting deck. Is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card? Vigilance. Each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, it's possible this one has vigilance. So if you're not playing creatures in your deck, you just get that for free. Kind of weird. Dude, that card's, it's not an elemental itself though. I was gonna say the, the modern elemental deck is reasonable. It's a cat and a beast. Ooh, they gave me lands. What did they, they unmore? Oh. Not like this. Not like this. This happens, right? There's literally nothing I could have done about it. Did I'm not paying attention, I was like, ooh, I'm tapped land, I get to cast fires. Twenty, dude, it's too hot in the house, and we're not allowed to open the windows because of Liz's allergies. I don't know if I can do twenty push-ups. Sounding like a lot right now. I guess I should have probably uh, played Needle plus the yeah, wish Needle on the on gate.
Should I just make a dragon? Dragon, Shivan, 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 Limited? Nope. No. Nah. I wish the prelim started like an hour or two earlier. That would be kind of perfect. I do prelims late too? Nothing. They do give you points though and you can have PTQs. Basically if you're trying to qualify for the PT on Magic Online. Late prelims. Mox two, Mox points. Yeah. Never seen anyone cast that card yet, I think, first time. Dude, I just love Osa of Teferi. I kind of want to play a second one, I think. So how does it work? We get to go minus Narset. Sure, verdict. One spell. Then I get to cast Oath of the Fairy. Blank Fires. Oh, I can't without fires. All right, opponent says enough. I tried the second one, you will hit every time you have two in your hand, it does nothing, yeah. I actually need a quick break. Lucas. Lucas, forgive me. Yeah, that should be fun. Grindy versus grindy. Gideon ally, yeah, basically I wanted more Gideons for Gideon of the Trials, and I wanted, I didn't want six mana Elspeth. I don't think you really want the six mana cards. I'm not even sure you want six mana Shandra. It was good for me yesterday, but. Because he's just playing four Omen of the Sea, maybe. Card's so pretty decent. Just make the deck a bit more consistent, basically. Um, yeah, it does. Ferris Fragrance. Fairy now. At some point, aka next turn. And I might lose it to a removal, but I don't think I really care. <coughs> It was mediocre against blue white control. I wish I just had dispute. We actually lost to blue to it feeling like not. I guess yesterday I just like had a really good draws. Probably just ran good. That shot did not seem super good today. I don't know. Day all against five game one and then I. Gotta have high, high hopes for the living. First up to fairy has been obscene when in rain all day. Especially the one my deck, I think, by far.
Yeah, no, this matchup seems like it should be good. You have a decent... I mean, you have so many... Do you have another over in the yard? Mm. Well, I guess let's see what we draw. I guess that Mark Cole's a bit scary. We got the Murder Strider though, okay. All right, let's see. Man, where's my Oath of Teferi? It's bullshit. I want a Verdict? Probably want a Verdict. These wayfinders are pretty annoying. Make a two two. I like murder started at the ferry, I think that's fine. And I'll just plus play a land. How many cards do you think would have been better than it was in that game? Zero. I'll be I'll be surprised if someone can find a card in entire Pioneer Firmware in that specific spot. I mean, I guess blo Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. If you don't murder a strider, we can like Teferi at ECD and minus on ECD. I need to be wary of Emrakul. I actually have Emrakul. TD is only open, I tried. That part's kind of nice. Shiganda today is at the 5-5 five, five, the hybrid, a bunch. What the hell does V say about his companion? What's the worst they can do with Emrakul? Just to fair your token. I guess they can just play the ECD without it killing anything. If they don't have... Yeah, no, they can't even... Uh, ECD actually kills Emrakul too. Dude, ECD is such a busted magic card. Yeah. Should I try and own them? I'll gamble. Why the snap took the two cards? <laughs> Did I put the two cards in the pile face up, maybe? Shanrod's pretty pock too. I mean, Shanrod can actually do something nasty to me, but...
Not too bad though. So again, easy. Again, Sarkan. Again, plus. But then if they have Atris, I think I want to get rid of Atris. If they have Atris, then they can ECD the Atris and keep their Emrakul. Could do more than two to make their Emrakul worse. Sometimes they don't even play Emrakul though. But I feel like that's one of the only cards that can really get them back in this game. Oh, and they're down to two card types. I like that like, the foot goes uh, goes into the casting cost. Are they all like that? Or is it like... Art what about Nissa and Luca? Not very efficient. Oh yeah, Nessa her or Vivian has her head that goes above, and so does Luca and the cat. All oh, right, they have hostage taker. Oh, they took hostage a token. Good beats. Does big to fairy for Sark and Fjallraven. Right? It was nice in round one because it let me kill them faster, which have been just as good. I want to say Sarkin has been a bit better than to fairy so far. But any game where, you know, I think they both would have been fine every time. They're actually just dead, right? Sorry, can't be for a clarion for the lifelink. You're dead, and I'm at a ton of life. My rip seems good. Uro, uro, uro. Dispute seems okay. ECD seems great. Uh, getting out of the trail is kind of mediocre. Everything else seems kind of good. He rips the non bow. Maybe I need to find something else. Is there another graveyard hate card I can? But that's not very. Hey man, that's right. I saw this really. That was insane. I got so many gifted subs from Naughty and Adam, and there was a few others. Potter, please, I think, Professor Chaos, Brittany. That was kind of obscene. Any more previews? They kind of spoiled the, like, bad companions first. And now they, like, feel like they're spoiling the ones that might be playable. Just kind of... I don't know. People are like, nah, it's too bad. There's no way that's the real deal. No idea how I got one, but I'm a Sixers fan, so I love the AI mode. Yeah, you got a, You were one of the people who got sub gifted. You mean you love? Well, coach. I mean, listen, we talking. Not the PT. Not the PT. Talking about Magic Online. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, I just slew. All right, I'm not gonna. There's gonna be a coward over here. I 
I smell a dispute, chat. Jose Usmin says hello from Florida, says he'll play it on the Pro Tour to Pretty bad with his names, but uh, say hi back. Jose Usmin. Does not sound familiar at all. Are people still like out and about in Florida or is it like in force in every state now? Are people just still chilling? Enforced everywhere. Working from home for three weeks now. Yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> no, but my wife has been too. It's not not super easy. Feels like it's not as easy to get motivated. All right, should I jam our set into a dispute? I don't really want to. I could just play another fire I could pass the turn. Value to their dispute here and fires, I'm not sure. It's probably good to play it. Should be able to cast a third spell if you had the second fires in play. That's how it should work. Well, that's a reason to play the second. I don't know, they played with that one game. Kind of suspicious, opponent. Alright, so it's the fairy. I get to choose which fires I cast it with. Get rid of that token. Let's see if Moto is bugged. Maybe it'll let me cast like more spells with the different fires. No, not the way it works. All right, I'm not gonna try and own them this time. Right, they took the two cards again, and they conceded. Feels you would, if you're gonna concede by taking the two cards, feels like you would, unless I got the piles wrong, seems you would at least take the one card pile and hope it's good enough. More, more push up. No more being lazy. This time I'm gonna die of heat.
<laughs> Sorry, opponents. <clears throat> Bit rude. Is that gonna be good enough? No, I hope that's not fancy, but I'm gonna bottom clarion. Some time ago I spent the push-up points, but yeah, I've not been honoring my, uh, my push-up points all the time, especially lately. <laughs> well, I'm gonna look real stupid if they take that deck. But I guess he had a dex back in the meta. Hmm. I was expecting just Stompy and a bunch of Love Struck Beasts and Steely Spell. <clears throat> Why did they just play another Constrictor? <laughs> Remember when I bought him that Clarion chat? See, I told you Clarion's no good. Easy clap. Easy freaking clap. We got closer to verdict. Perfect plays once again. I was playing this deck, I was wondering if just like a regular Jeskai control would be good. Basically just any deck that plays 4 in our set for Teferi. Just build a tap out, maybe just tap out blue white or tap out Bant honestly. Just like in standard, something, something along these lines. I bet like that was like what why the deck was good because you got in for it to fairy time raveler. Yeah, I mean Esper would be good, would be a good fit. You'd actually have like cheap removal to protect your planeswalkers and stuff. I might be I might be something like that. <clears throat> Clarins even that like if it should be like free verdict one Claren maybe. All right, let's see. Can all right, I probably wanna a Gideon, Giddy Giddy Gideon, and then just. Plus on that, make a dragon. Ballista would be somewhat annoying. No, I mean, no. Right now it's two clearing, two verdict in the main, and then I have a verdict and an anger of the gods in the sideboard. I'll update the deck. Might be interested in that. Funny how sometimes I go a whole stream without anyone like saying anything about me. Not I guess there's like yesterday's deck list. It looks pretty similar. All right, I think that's the right one. <coughs> Made out yes. Needle seems kind of good. Pretty bad in these matchups, in these swarmy matchups. 
All right, fields bound. I'm just gonna do East for DCD, I guess. Guys are playing base card. I think, I think you have a lot of action. <clears throat> I'd be scared of decks that can snowball against you. Whether that Vam deck's kind of scary because they have pressure, Soren that dodges sweeper, Heart of Curan. They even had Heart of Curan, the Mutavolt, and they have this card spell. This versus Niv. This probably beats Niv's pretty handily, right? I don't see how Niv would be favored. You have four Teferi, four Narset, and you have ECD. What are we playing against? Oh yeah. Mm. I think that's good enough. Or free one. Yeah. <clears throat> 27 lands, two Omen of the Sea. More Omen of the Sea, and maybe the mana base needs a little rework. I don't know if, like, White Castle has felt... Maybe I, did, I just didn't draw it as much. I did use it a few times this league. I get this hand because the potential was pretty high. Turn free to fair into fire's verdict. And like pretty much every land in my deck casts to thirds. Okay, so I'm at 15. They're actually not hitting that hard. Question is why Narset minus? Or do I? It might be. But like the fairy in our set, you get value out of right away. Like, feels like that's the one thing you have to kind of worry about. And I mean, they're probably not worth, not good for them to do that because no one, there's very few Niv decks, but uh, I could see it being like really tough. Just, you could like just grind you out, honestly. All right, do I have to solo verdict? Probably. Sarkin. Oh, no, here he's just obscene here. If I have time to use it. I guess it's Teferi or Jace, maybe? Or Narset or... This doesn't seem super good. Verdict, right? Doesn't feel great, but... Ah, ah, ah. Sad times. Oh wow. Okay, and I'm at four. And they have a mutavolt. Kind of a problem. Not sure that's a play, but Seems somewhat efficient. I still die to Ballista. But if they don't have Ballista, I kind of force them to. I mean, they probably just have to kill my Nahiri and hopefully they can't play another spell this turn. Oh, they have Bellista. That sucks. Dragon's not saving me. I need to draw um, the land, I think. Yellow hat, wow.
We're not dead on board. I'll take it. I don't think I'm gonna win, but if I untap, if I get another untap, I think I win. If they can't finish me, I mean, they obviously don't have Ballista. Vivian kills me, right? Yeah, the fact that Vivian kills me, they need to not have Vivian, not have Ballista. I don't think they would have failed push after sideboard. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting slower old. I feel like but they're gonna play Vivian and I'm gonna lose. Nice. Slower old? Okay, my opponent. I just can't do basic math. My brain is too advanced. Apparently, people who do really advanced math are really bad at doing basic math. They like can't do basic math anymore. And get rid of scales. I can plus Sarkhan and kill Vivian. Andra to kill the Stone Cold Serpent. Iron to just gain life. that gain one go up to two important that Gideon of the trials maybe I need Gideon just with certain call serpent. Claren gain life gains me eight, yeah. I can do that. I guess I was counting plus six for some reason. All right, check playing our set first. I played the fairy first. So if they can't kill me, they just might kill all my planeswalkers. Alright, I'm just gonna take Gideon. Do I wanna kill Harden Scales? kill hardened skills or do I want to block if I kill hardened skills it can go like attack your Sarkhan attack your Nahiri but I stay at 10 probably want to wait is that still gold does that turn it in only red dude could I have killed Sonicro Serpent when it's red It's just red, it, it doesn't like stay gold. Wow, that is such a sick line actually. Uh, oh well, that's pretty cool though. Yeah, 
Yeah, bounce. I guess, yeah, next turn I can bounce with Teferi because they can't kill Nahiri and... Did no one catch it? Almost everyone, people usually catch that stuff and I miss it in chat. Gotta have high hopes for the weather. Did I unfollow Bernie? Because I was like. I think I might actually have unfollowed Bernie because just it was like the same tweet over and over. Like, I mean, it's a good message. It was like, okay, I don't need to see the same six tweets uh, 20 times a day. You don't have to sell me on Medicare for all. Man, that was just game. Um, well, hello there. Hello. Hello, you beautiful. Oh, I can even cast it. and bring in Witch Stalker, yeah. I mean, it was in the list that won a tournament. That's why people have it in their sideboard, but it does not seem very good against the Clarion Verdict deck. Because it's not even like that Fatal Push in their main deck. They don't play Fatal Push. So that means they're boarding out something for a Centaur Corsair. Centaur Corsair was Hexproof, I guess. Why cast Fae? Why not? Am I missing something? I mean, you see my hand, right? I definitely want to just build my board. All right. Um, yeah.